Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Stephen here from James Glen Car Sales. Today we've got a BMW 5 Series. It's a 540i. It's a 2018 plate and covered just 20,000 miles. It is an exceptional, exceptional car. Genuinely, guys, there is hardly even a stone chip on it. And Craig, if you're watching the video, the car really is a true credit to, credit to you. Uh, Craig chose to use our WeWon'tBuyAnyCar.com car buying service to move on his old car to get a good, fair price, no hassle sale. And if you've got something similar and you would like evaluation, you can use the link in the description below for evaluation to move your car on. Anyway, let's get a move. Let's <laughs> let's get a look around this lovely 540. So I have my spec just listed on the on the phone here. So I'll read out what uh, the car has, and then we'll get a wee bit closer once I've had a, a wander around. So we have got the 20 inch um, bi color 759 style alloy wheels. It also has the BMW display key, BMW gesture control, enhanced Bluetooth with um, wireless charging, heads up display, loudspeaker system, Harman Kardon, obviously an M Sport, so it's got an M Sport package, heated steering wheel, rear sun protection glass, technology package, through load system, and also has um, Wi Fi hotspot preparation, and it's the, the blue stone metallic is a uh, special order paint as well. So that little lot comes to just a touch over £7,000 and together make this one very, very special 540i. Let's get a bit closer now and we'll get a good inspection of the condition. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, it, this car literally has hardly a single stone chip on it. Um, 20,000 miles, it should be fairly clean, but even at 20,000 miles, it's not unusual to see, um, you know, some the light like stone chips in the bonnet, um, but it is absolutely exceptional. Nice with the big fat gloss um, kidney grills on there as well, in black. Light lenses, we've got the LED lights in the car, and the lenses are absolutely perfect as well. Let's check it out on the other side. That's just exactly the same. And if we move down to the, the, the vertical section of the front bumper, this is if we're going to see any stone chips, this is where we'll see them. And again, it is absolutely a1 condition. It's also got a little Maxim Design splitter on there um, and a matching spoiler on the boot lid as well. This actually goes really, really well with the black hockey sticks and also the black gills uh, just on the bottom of the wing there as well. All just ties in really, really nice. So let's get a look down the passenger side, see if we can spot any imperfections or any scratches or dents. Um, I'm delighted to see that, that the car is absolutely perfect. Front passenger wheel, free from any damage. Got a Goodyear branded tyre. And the brake disc is lovely and clean in there as well. Brake calipers, nice and blue. There's no discoloration. <coughs> Initially I thought this was space grey. And then that's when you notice there's just a little hint of blue through it. Um, and when we've done the spec checks, actually, blue stone metallic. So again, another um, nice, unique option just to set this car aside from the rest. Rear wheel on the passenger side, free from any damage. There is a tiny, tiny little bit of water ingress just beginning to come underneath the lacquer. Just here and here, which if anyone that's had diamond cut wheels, you'll know that this is just unavoidable, but it's... Got no damage on it, um, and I would certainly say that does not justify a refurb quite yet. If you look in through the back, you can actually see the backing plate on the car is still bright silver. Uh, this is indicative of a car that has clearly been stored in a garage. And kept dry as, as long as possible. Um, so let's get a look in the interior from the passenger side. You can see the seats now are all in A1 condition, got a set of factory cap over mats, electrically adjustable seats, and they are only partially adjustable, I and mean, you need to adjust the seat back and forward manually using the handle over there, and we can adjust, uh, inflate and deflate the side bolsters to give you a bit of extra lateral support. It's got a nice hexagon aluminium trim on the dash with the, uh, the customizable ambient lighting, which is carried across uh, under the door cards and also under here as well. Hammer card and sound system sounds really really 
meaty with a nice bit of treble as well. A couple of wee tiny bits of discoloration just underneath the lacquer and the cell plates, but over, overall, pretty good condition. Just looking across the back bench, you can see that the seats are perfect. No dents or anything on the, on the back bench and the seats, the seat backs are all perfect. There's no scuffs or scrapes in here. Extended storage, I used to think this was standard, but this is part of the storage pack. Door card and everything, all in good condition. We've just some protection glass on the back. Some finish on the paint. It has been given a, a detail, um, but I do believe it was just a single stage that was required um, just to sharpen it up. Normally we have to do a two or a three stage polish um, to get this level of finish, but it came in that clean that we only needed to do the one, which is pretty unusual. So twin exit, exhaust pipes, parking sensors along the back bumper. This is the standard boot spoiler, which comes with the car. Um, owner's manual, boot carpet, everything is all perfect. And we've also got the optional folding rear seats, which does make the 5 Series saloon all the more practical. <clears throat> well, looking down the driver's side, again, there's absolutely nothing to report, guys, free from any damage, not even the slightest of park and dents visible in the paint. Rear wheel on the driver's side, again, free from any damage whatsoever. And the brake disc, everything all spot on, same with the backing plate. You can see it's all, this is the first thing that usually goes, and we start to see the dust but guards at the back start to corrode, um, but they are absolutely spot on, which is uh, pretty something for an 18 plate car that's lived in the UK. And final angle guys, looking down from the front to the back. Again, it's absolutely spot on. Final wheel. We look round the outer rim. You see it's free from any damage. Brake discs are absolutely perfect. And the big M Performance calipers. Nice and clean, no discoloration. And another good year given us a matching set. Moving on to the inside. Just doing the usual, checking for all the normal touch points, top of the door card, the door pull and the handle. Everything's all fine. Another couple of tiny watermarks just under the lacquer on the entry plates. The plastics, everything are all perfect. Outer bolster on the backrest is fine. No wear. And the same for the outer bolster on the base. <coughs> Looking over Compared to the two seats, we can see that they're wearing, I was going to say they're wearing, but there is no wear, but they're pretty much exactly the same. Cut mileage, 19,751. Really, really roomy car, the 5 Series. Um, I'm only 5 foot 8, so I do feel a bit small. 3 Series is more my size, but if you're looking for a nice luxury car with lots of space in them, uh, the 5 Series is going to do that for you. Um, it's, going to, it's going to fill that uh, requirement very, very well. Let's look for my words here. Uh, so, get the foot in the brake. Got a little start. So, next service isn't due until February next year or 17,000 miles. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, the car also has um, dash cams fitted front and rear. So that's your rear camera and this is your main camera. This all turns on and off automatically um, as and when the car uh, is started. Different driving modes, so if we put the car into sport, you can see that it changes the dials in the Comfort and Eco Pro. The gloss black trim and everything's all in good condition because you can tend to find this can end up quite scratchy and tired looking. If people aren't careful throwing phones and keys and things down um, this little pad here because it's got the battery 
logo on it indicates that we've got wireless charging for your phone and your cup holders fortunately they're not heated or cooled in this one and um, we've got our heated seats here and here dual zone climate control cruise control controls for the audio and also heated steering wheel but yeah lovely big car very very nice to sit in oh, oh yeah it does have the b58 which sounds great so we'll give that a little rev while we're here b58 is the engine guys just to, sorry i should have clarified that <clears throat> 335 brake horsepower so this cat is no slouch but it will still return 36 miles per gallon in the combined cycle which is pretty impressive Let's look at the engine in a moment. <coughs> so there we are, it's that straight six, um, single turbo, twin power turbo is what BMW call um, all their turbocharged engines, it just means twin scroll. Um, so it's a single turbo, 335 horsepower, which is called the B58, a very, very, very strong, very reliable engine. Um, which produces 335 horsepower, and as, as I mentioned, um, will return mid 30s more on a long run if you choose to put it in Eco Pro mode. And it's also four wheel drive as well, so it means you can use all of that power all year round. So, there we are, guys. That brings us to the end of the walkaround video of this rather special 540. Hope you found it useful. If you've got anything you'd like to ask, please feel free to leave it in the comments. We do always check comments every day and we always reply. Also, if you'd like to give us a um, uh, drop us a wee inquiry, you can do that through the website uh, and there'll be a link to the actual car in the description below. Always happy to take your current car and part exchange or if you'd like a finance quotation we can help with that as well. And as you are looking at the 5 Series on YouTube, I'll put a road test to an M5 up here that I think you might find of interest. And also please do consider subscribing to the channel and also all the notifications and all that kind of thing, that would be great. That way you don't miss any more stock updates or any more road tests and you can do that by clicking the James Glenn logo just down here. Thanks again guys, appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.